Hi dear students, we are going to study in this video about the multiplying a matrix by a number. Scholar also we are calling here the matrix A, it is given 5, 2, 3, 1. And this is 2 by 2 matrix. And the order of the matrix is 2 by 2, also we mentioned that one before. And we are going to find what is 2A. And you know from normal uh, algebraic operations, if you add two terms like x plus x is equal to 2x or a plus a it's equal to 2a and uh, matrix added by a matrix same matrix a plus a it should be equal to 2a and this is the proof of it also and you know that only the same entries can be added let's say 5 added to 5 2 added to 2, 3 plus 3, 1 plus 1 only it will be, and the resultant matrix it's going to be this one. And we need to understand here that 2a is the same multiplying each number in the matrix by a number 2. So we are going to be careful about that one, and we are going to solve the question here. There are two ways to solve this question, you know, uh, this is 2 by 3 matrix, and I'm going to write a plus a plus a instead of 3a. This is equal to uh, 3a to prove one more time together with you. So it's equal to 6, 8, 4, 1, 5, 7 plus. Uh, I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to here uh, instead of rewriting them three times I'm going to write which means here I think one more time I have to copy this one here yes let me get this one one more time yes this one so I have written the same matrix three times so when I add them you know the matrix entry adding 6 and 6 and 6 it should be here I'm doing like this 6 plus 6 plus 6 it should be this is first row first column it should be 8 plus 8 plus 8 here 8 plus 8 plus 8 here uh, 4 plus 4 plus 4 it should be 4 plus 4 plus 4 so 1 plus 5 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 and 5 plus 5 plus 5 you know that one and 7 plus 7 plus 7 it's going to be and the resultant matrix it's going to be here I'm going to write uh, 18 plus 24 uh, not plus 24 18 24 12 3 15 and 21 it's going to be so this is the result matrix which is equal to 3a and here by multiplying as it mentioned before we are going to solve the question by multiplying let's write here 3a which is equal to uh, let me do with different color this one 3 times a it's going to be which is equal to 6 plus not plus I'm sorry 6 8 4 1 5 and 7 it's going to be which means this is going to be equal to here this is going to be 3 times 6 now here let me change one more time the color here firstly I'm going to write the numbers here one more time 6 8 I'm going to put distance between them because I'm going to here write the 3 in front of them 1 5 and 7 here what I mean you are going to multiply these 3 inside the terms one by one with all of them like say 3 times 6 it should be 3 times 6 3 times 6 3 times 8 3 times 4 3 times 1 3 times 5 3 times 7 and as you see, we didn't skip any of them. We all multiply them. Here, 3 times 6, 18. 
3 times 8 is equal to 24. 3 times 8 is equal to, pardon, 3 times 4 it is equal to 12. 3 times 1 it is 3. 3 times 5 15. And 3 times 7 it's going to be equal to 21. As you see here, this answer and this one, they are equal to each other. Which means you can multiply by short way matrix by a scalar term or a number means multiplying all the entries here by that scalar. So 3 times 6, 3 times 8, 3 times 4, 3 times 1, 3 times 5, and 3 times 7 it is. Okay, let's continue with another type of exercise. I'm going to show only here uh, C and D. The rest of them it's going to be exercise for us. Here it says 3A find 3A plus 2C. I'm going to write like this 3A instead of A I'm writing here 0, 7, 0 and 3 not 0. This is 3. 3, 7, 0, 5 plus 2 times C it is equal to 5, 4, minus 1 and 6 it is. So firstly I have to distribute uh, as usual uh, the rule is first you are going to put inside then you are going to like solve inside the parenthesis then do the operation. So 3 times 3 it's going to be equal to mine. Directly I'm going to write the results. 3 times 7 it's going to be equal to 21. 3 times 0 it's equal to 0. 3 times 5 it's going to be equal to 15. So this becomes 3a. Now this is 3a. Then plus 2 times c. 2 times 5 it is equal to 10. 2 times 4 it's equal to 8. 2 times minus 1 it's equal to minus 2. 2 times 6 it's going to be equal to 12. So if you add them here, this is also 2c, and we are going to find 3a plus 2c here now. 9 plus 10, which is equal to 19. 21 plus 8, which is equal to 29. 2, 0 plus minus 2, it's equal to, or it's better to write them one more time here to do correct operation, not to make mistake. 9 plus 10, 21 plus 8. 0 plus minus 2, minus 2, and 15 plus, 15 plus 12, it has to be, which is equal to 19, 29, minus 2, and 27, it has to be. Okay, this is 2 by 2 matrix, it's going to be, and this is the answer of the question. Here everything is same. In the second part, um, this was the C. In the second part, what I want to solve, everything is same, only we are going to subtract. I'm going to find 4, 4C four minus 3B. I'm writing the 4C. 4 times C, which is equal to 5, 4 minus 1, 6, minus 3 times b is equal to 2, 4, 6, and 8. Here, uh, if you send the inside 4 times 5, it's going to be equal to 20. 4 times 4, it's equal to 16. 4 times minus 1, it's equal to minus 4. 4 times 6, it's going to be equal to... Uh, 4 times 6, it's going to be equal to 24. Then, minus... Three times I'm going to distribute all of them inside. Here, minus sign, since I'm keeping, this should be three. You know, this is, you can write like this, minus three times something. If you want to distribute, then this sign, it should be plus here. Plus and minus makes minus. That's why I'm going to keep the minus sign here. And I'm going to multiply by only three, which means three times two, which is equal to six. Already we know this multiplication. 3 times 2 it's equal to 6. 3 times 4 it's equal to 12. 3 times 6 it's equal to 18. 3 times 8 it's going to be equal to 3 times 8 it's going to be equal to 24. So when we subtract these are now here, it's going to be equal to 4c 4c minus 3b. 
which is for C minus 3B is equal to 20 minus 6, 16 minus 12, minus 4 minus 18, 24 minus 24, it's going to be, which is equal to, 4C minus 3B will be equal to, here 20 minus 6, it will be equal to 14, 16 minus 12, it's equal to 4, and minus 18, minus 4 minus 18 minus 22, 24 minus 24, it's going to be equal to 0. So this is the answer it's going to be, and we are going to finish the video here. The rest of the questions we are going to solve together with you in the class.